Was Jesus an Anunnaki alien god? I'm going to get deep into this in this video. Stick around if you've ever asked this question. I'm going to reveal a few really weird things about the life and times of Jesus and also hopefully help us all get outside our own head about who Jesus might have actually been. Check. So one of the common things is when we read through the canonical gospels, specifically when we get into like the gospel of John and even a little bit in Matthew and Mark, we have this whole ascension iconography, the idea that Jesus ain't from around here kind of thing. And that can definitely spurn a lot of these conversations about Jesus being an Anunnaki God who appeared on earth or descended and then ascended the whole Lucifer energy of a fallen angel coming to reveal knowledge and then ascend again. Uh, and we won't even bring the whole, uh, you know, Easter thing into this yet. And in fact, the fallen angel lore and mythos falls in line quite a bit with Jesus, especially with uh, what had been done with the story of Jesus throughout the years, expounding upon the base and core teachings of what he actually taught, and then adding a lot of mythos around that as the Gospels were formulated and the biblical canon was decided upon. Now, this isn't just my opinion. You can go look at many different data sets on how the Bible was canonized and a lot of the different decisions that were made, which I won't go into here. And that brings me to some of my favorite teachings of Jesus, and that is the Gospel of Thomas, where there is no crucifixion, there is no Easter story, there's no Christmas birth story, there's no virgin birth, there's nothing like that. It is merely the most mystical, beautiful, transcendent, and debatable phrases of all time, starting with those who interpret the meaning of these phrases will not taste on alivement. Now, is he speaking literally here, or is this esoteric? Personally, I believe this was esoteric, speaking of the karmic cycle of reincarnation, and that essentially those who get this and are able to break their soul free will see perpetual life, because the word eternal is actually perpetual. We think of eternal as point A to point B, but it's actually in the moment now. This is purely my interpretation. What do you think of these wild concepts from the life and times of Jesus? To take a line from him, who do you say I am?